it's probably the lighting. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, I'm going to start this podcast. Kale's back. Hey, man. Pinball party. Hey, man. Uh, whew. I just, just flew back in from Chicago. I don't know if you know I was at Expo. There was a, there was a big uh, a thing, a, a pinball to do. I've heard about this Expo. Um, do, do you like what I've done with the place, though? I know we're both back. You know, mm-hmm. uh, reunions are in order and welcome and all that. Um, I got this. The sign back here. Yep. It says pinball. Yep. You have the microscope. Mm-hmm. That's nice. It's a new setting. It's, dude, we're, uh, we've matured since the last time everyone's heard us together. Yeah. We were like, changing oh. things up for 2023. Yeah. You can't just do the same old, like, listen to us. Mm-hmm. We say swear words and we make fun of stuff. <laughs> no, no. We're, we're more experienced. Um, uh, yeah. So speaking of swear words, I met Johnny Crap finally. Mm-hmm. And? <clears throat> he's cool he's yeah? uh yeah he um met him at the, the stern at a party at a place called microphones it's a it's a micer like a, like a person's name mike or phone uh stern <laughs> wait stern, this is microphones. his legal name yeah yeah the, well that's the place of the bar maybe the guy oh. who owns this name mike i don't know okay but um but they uh it's a brewery Mm. And they they did a, a stern beer called Stern Up the Volume, and they had a big party for all of the operators. This is at the expo you speak of. Yeah, but it was off site. Yeah, mm. in Chicago or or Schaumburg. Um, they uh, you know they they gave they gave everybody these sweet jean jackets. You'll you'll see. It. I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to wear it in Phoenix, but uh, it's right. nice. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so met Johnny Crap. He was cool. He did some of the art on the the new pinball machine, the Labyrinth from Barrels yeah. of Fun. <sighs> I just I would like to talk about Labyrinth instead. Let's just talk about Labyrinth for Go into that. forty five to an hour long for not being there. Well, uh, before we get into all the the pinball expo stuff, which mm-hmm. is you know what you're going to fill me in on more than anything. Um, congrats to you and Rachel on the new podcast, the Electric Backcast. It's now in thank my, you. It's in my listeners, you know. It's in my, it's my queue. Yeah, top of the queue. Um, that interview with Mike last week. I'm um, listening to that on a walk with Mabel yesterday. What a gem! What a way! What a pinball gem, Mike Vinicor. He's still no offense to you and Rachel. I think the favorite guest we've had on the pinball party. Mm-hmm. And to no, this I, date, I'm with you. I agree. I, let's, he should just have his own. Um, I, I want to hear more about punk rock records um, than anything else. But you know, I. Punk rock and Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, no offense to pinball, but yeah, that was great. Um, I like I like the video stuff you guys are doing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. More of this stuff out there. Thank you. But I miss you guys. Thanks for coming back. Well, yeah, well, I'm glad to be here. We uh, we missed you. Rachel wish she, wish, wishes, is it called wishes? Wishes. Eh, who cares? She could be all- <laughs> She wishes she could be on, but uh, uh, she's still kind of recovering from all the the traveling and hustle and bustle mm. of airports and airplanes, and she is uh, she just wanted to relax a little bit more before our big tournament today. So Ooh, she wow. uh, she said hello and she misses you and she can't wait to come back on. Hello, I miss you too. How many people are going to be at this tournament at Electric Bat? Oh man! Anywhere from from ninety to a hundred. Um, this is so that's about a range of ten people. Actually, yeah, yeah. Actually, <laughs> it might be a little bit more. It might be, you know, right at a hundred, if not, you know, five or so people above that. Because today is this the series finale. This 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 is where we find out who ends up in the top twenty four, and then the top twenty four battle it out. Tomorrow, Wednesday, which will be Ooh. Wednesday. Today is today is Tuesday, October twenty fourth. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a finals tomorrow. What do they win? Like, what's first place? Uh, first place, you win a ton of Whopper points. Okay, and uh, probably, probably, l- l- somewhere between eighty and ninety Whopper points, which is what what everybody's going for, really. And then you get a custom laser etched electric bat pinball. You win Ooh. that, yeah. It's a nice little glass case, or that's actually pretty sweet. Plastic case. It looks like glass. It looks like glass. It's clear and 
shiny. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I just got a message uh, from <laughs> on Discord from Ray Day uh, as we speak. Um, Ray Day, for those who don't know, uh, mm-hmm. a famous pinball player and uh, coder at Stern, makes some awesome rules. Um, I- I'll sh- I'll shout out Rush more than anything. But he just <laughs> he just messaged me. I know you said it was on your never buy list, but I have a very nice Turtles Premium. If you ever wanted to give that another go, willing to give a good price if you want to make an offer. Smiley face. Hmm. And see, that's what I said. Like games that I won't get again, and then this shit happens. People are like, yeah, but you know, dangle that little carrot. Um, hmm. Hmm. Ray Day, I'll think about it. Um, anyway. Um, Thanks for the heads up, Ray Day. Yeah. <laughs> is is Turtles in the tournament? You guys we have don't Turtles? Have, we don't have a Turtles. We uh, we had a Turtles LE for a little bit. A, a friend of ours let us borrow one for a, a few months. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was it. We, we never ended up purchasing one. Mm. All right. Let's talk about Labyrinth. Um, I didn't <clears> see it in person. <throat> I was in Door County few hours north of you mm-hmm. um i did consider i'm like you know maybe we should make a quick eight hour round trip to see um labyrinth but that that didn't happen so you played it uh, i saw you post some videos i think yep. it was of rachel playing it maybe it was of you uh, on instagram etc yeah. what did you think uh it's uh, very cool I, I mean i guess let's let's get into the look of it right now no. um that's one thing i can actually see from afar is right the look very uh the artwork is is super cool and totally fits the theme and and it's and i mean it's right on um johnny crap did some and then some other guy did the rest um but it all it it, it it's all very well put together it it doesn't feel disjointed even though um a few artists worked on it um very kind of thanksgiving looking yeah it's it's very brown and autumn you get like this autumn feel right uh lord of the rings esque that's what it kind of reminded me of yeah uh yeah um so very cool um the 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 shots made sense everything felt good you know it it you know it's, it's got this one thing that you know you know it, it, let's just be honest. The, the only guys who have figured out flippers and, out. are the guys who have been in the business making uh, machines the longest, and that's Stern. You know, Stern has this flipper feel that's, that's, that's way up here, mm. and then everybody else is kind of below it. So it has a, um, you know, it has a, a, a spooky or American like flipper feel. You know, it's 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 it it's got it's got a little lag. Um, but Where, but it doesn't take away from the from the game, you know. Just know that going into it. When you say American pinball spooky, and you said lag, and I agree, mm-hmm. it's like those both have about the same power as a stern. But yeah, there's this like slight disconnect where like old school Jersey Jack was like this is kind of just mush, right? Um, no matter what, and they've they've fix that they've they've improved that jersey jack oh has. and we're going to talk about the best theme yeah, yeah. Of we'll get to that shortly. later yeah. mm-hmm. uh so would you say to make it labyrinth even more impressive would be like what give it another 10 percent flipper feel 25 percent. how far off is it yeah well i mean it's it's j- just like just like spooky or american if you've if you've mm. played one of those games you, you know how the flippers feel and it's this is similar to that you know, I'm not saying it makes a bad game, but mm. that's just when well, you know when you go into it, uh, you know you, you you're gonna get that feel. You can still hit all the shots, um, and and the shots are cool. The the animations are are great. Um, the 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 rules are, and I think Bowen had a lot to do with it. There's a lot of comedy in it. You know, when you 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 hit this ro- one wrong shot, you know, you, if you. You're in this, and I can't remember what what mode what the mode was called, but uh, our friend uh, Mark was playing with us. It was uh, me, Rachel, and Mark Pearson. And he he got into it, um, accidentally hit this green shot that he wasn't supposed to hit, and so the the rest of the game he's farting. Perfect. It was great. So he, so in real life, he was farting. That's what. Well, he may have been. I don't know. Right. But in the game, his his character in the game, uh, his <laughs> so his, his score was green, and he saw this fumes coming off of it for the That's... for the whole rest of his his game was really was, yeah. It was, so it was, it was hilarious, and Bowen was like laughing and. So it wasn't a glitch. It was like, oh, that's a thing. 
Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. So I like um, that. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, great, gr- great game. Um, everybody was asking if we were going to get one, and uh, no, not not yet. Um, I think they're actually like sold out now. They had like they're they're going to build like a thousand or something like that. The direct uh, sales were. I'm not. Yeah, and I congratulations because this was really built by uh, a great team. Uh, Rachel and I just didn't want to uh you know spend over 10 grand on like kind of roll the dice we you know we've been burned in in Mm. the past and uh we we weren't ready to uh, roll the dice on on a new company but these guys we 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 talked to uh david van s and um man what was really cool he was like genuinely asking our input even as far as like what did you think about the marketing? I thought I thought it was great. You know, I, uh, eh. I think we I think we all well we all you know you'll have your opinion in a second. It's, it's yeah. just just time for me to talk, right? Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, <laughs> so right um, right 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 right. At at first, you know, we were all seeing these the exclamation point like the the we didn't even know what it was. We didn't know it was barrels of fun. Yeah, and and I think we 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 got a little fatigue with it right sure they, 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 were, they weren't showing us anything oh and it, it felt kind of deep root-esque right but then i told him the best thing he did uh and him and his marketing team was um let people know what's coming to expo boom we have labyrinth mm-hmm. it's working we have multiple copies and we're bringing them to expo Doing this right before Expo really built up some hype. And I'm so glad they did that instead of just dropping it on the Expo floor because that that built anticipation. Everybody's like, holy crap, we're going to have a Labyrinth game to play. That probably sold some more Expo tickets. I mean, the the lines to play this game was insane. I think there were four on the Expo floor, and then later they brought some out for, upstairs for a pizza party. Um, and they bought pizza for, I, they must have spent like 10 grand on pizza. I'm not kidding. Good call. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you were going to uh, give your opinion on the marketing. I'm happy they're open to feedback. I think, well, I guess in the end, I'm in complete agreement with what you said. It was mm-hmm. because it came out during kind of the TPF time when there was like that ninja eclipse mm-hmm. and there was a lot, you know, it, it fell to me personally in that category of like, is this just gonna be some more trash or whatever and and (laughs) it was so vague and i was kind of like i don't i don't have time for this and that it's not like i literally don't have time but i don't know it just kind of came across as kitschy or kind of especially at the end where the the most the best thing they did was like hey we have an awesome theme it looks great Mm -hmm. it's built it's ready to go that was like a plus i think the, the first stuff just wasn't needed if it was a little more clear of what it was going to be, unless it was an NDA thing or anything licensing, mm-hmm. like if there was a hint, like, oh no, this is, this is, you know, this is labyrinth ask. This is like, if, it, if the clue was, could get you there sooner, I think it would be a really, a little better. But it, in the end, like the fact that they're just open to marketing feedback, yeah, it, it makes it even better to me. So like, I, I can't say it was terrible, but I, yeah, I was kind of like at, eh, it's the same thing over and over. I didn't really get much from it. I'm not going to play the guessing game, like whatever, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but in the end, the, the important thing, I think it's water under the bridge. Like, it doesn't even matter. You know, the game yeah. reveal seemed great. Was was there any, did you see much downtime, buggy stuff, anything busted? You know, not to paint negative light, but everything I hear is just like, man, it's just a home run. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, they were, every time we walked by, they were working. Damn. Yeah. Um. That's yeah, but very the, impressive. the whole um, the the company actually wanting input is really it's refreshing. Best, I, uh, Zach even mentioned it on the the latest uh, his yeah. his pod, the the pinball show. Is that what it's called? The pinball show. It's the pinball show. Correct. Yeah, he even mentioned that, and <clears throat> and I was like, whoa! So it wasn't just us. Like David wanted his input. David wanted our input, and he was genuinely, you know, I have yet a spooky american uh jersey jack no other uh i I haven't heard of any other uh, company doing this you know no asking the you know we're just regular joes on the street but uh it's so important it is so important it's so important it's it's 
Because as a company making a game, it's different than like, a, I'll use myself, for example, either Neon Dale or Pinball Party, like whatever. If I have someone's opinion, hey, what you, you know, what did you think of, you know, I've had people say, oh, swear less, do this less, or <laughs> have less distortion in some of your music. Well, right, right. Yeah, nah, you know, it's, it's more of an artistic thing. They're not asking like, oh, did you like the, the taupe we used in um, <laughs> Labyrinth? I mean, they could, but the fact of like, hey, yo, we're confident in the product. But we want to make sure that like the message is getting out there of, of what we're doing. And mm-hmm. I think that's great. And, and like, like, okay, it, if we were promoting the electric bat cast or the pinball party podcast, and all I did was put a bunch of dicks on Instagram with no, <laughs> like, just like, guess what podcast is coming up? And it's a big dick. Yeah. People will be like, I mean, nice. It's cool. But right. after a while, I'll be like, this dick gets me nothing. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'd be like, what'd you think of my marketing? Be like, I can't connect, <laughs> you know, the dots or the dick. Um, yeah. So yeah, but that they're open to it and mm-hmm. especially on the first game. Yeah. If it came out with this ego, which I sometimes see in some of this, like you just right. get a, I want to there, there was none pinball. of that. There was American, no ego. Mm. We, and we talked to uh, multiple people in the company and man, they were just very excited about it. it. It really, they are like living up to the name of it. Barrels of fun. They were, they, they had great attitudes, you know, they weren't, um, you know, snarky, like some, you know, we, we talked to some other guys in the booth and, you know, they kind of act like they like to act like they know more than you do. Yeah. You, you don't get the feel with this company there. There, it feels like we're all on this adventure to build uh pinball machines with, uh, you know, help this company be successful. Um, way to go barrels of fun. They did. I don't know if, I mean, I'm, you know, they, they said this out in the open. I don't know if they've announced this. They, they, they said they have three games in the work, in the works, other than this one. I mean, I, I, I've heard of at least two, but I don't know. I this reminds me <laughs> of like from afar. If Big Lebowski would have had a smooth launch and a smooth everything, but because mm-hmm. the game was kind of always pretty rock solid and good, from my experience aside from some code, whatever, but it was like big Lebowski came out like, wow, that's impressive as hell. Yeah. This seems to have the same thing. If they can just keep the momentum going and be on like more than anything, I'm glad they're open. Just be honest. If there's delays, say it, don't wait. Don't, don't pull a yeah. CGC and just go silent. Don't do that. Lebowski. That's the Dutch pinball guys, right? Yeah, man. Those guys are balling. Dude. We- when we were all the leaving the hotel, uh, man, they had the craziest looking limousine. Yeah, with like, with like gull wing doors and all that shit. Uh, yeah, man, they look so cool. <laughs> they should have had a DeLorean, right? They sh- a stretch DeLorean, right? Yeah, yeah. man, those guys. Um, I, I, we didn't play Lebowski there. It, it was there. I think Coin Taker had it in uh, in their booth, but I've played it before. I have a couple friends that have them. Fun game. Um, before I forget. Because mm-hmm. I want to keep going down this pinball expo rabbit hole, yeah, rat hole, um, TM, as, as you would say. Is Stern posted something on Instagram? I think it was mm. just kind of like, "Hey, expo, mm-hmm. what's up?" They used the Nintendo Wii menu music. Really, they did, and I commented because people are like, "Oh, it's, it's Mario!" Like, it's not Mario. It's it's the Wii. So I, I commented on Instagram. This. I commented as the, in the pinball party mm-hmm. uh, moniker. I said, mm-hmm. "Oh, that's the Wii music." What? And they—it's the only time they've ever given a post. I've had a thumbs up. Not that, like I'm religiously stalking Stern. Uh-huh. Like, oh my god! And they just happened to be like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, it is." What does this? What does this mean, Jason? Is this an Easter egg? <sighs> I don't think that knowing Nintendo, Nintendo doesn't really fuck around when it comes to their IP. Mm-hmm. You know, they're very much like. Uh, they, they're protective because they're, you know, mm-hmm. almost like the Disney of, of video games. Right. Does that extend to their menu music? I don't mm-hmm. know. Um, would it maybe be, hey, Nintendo, what's up? We love you. You know, we want to make a, a Mario game uh, or make a Zelda. Just make a Super Nintendo game. Oh, man. Oh. I, I don't know. I don't know what it means, but I don't think that they would use it for no reason. <clears throat> Tell me what's going on. I don't know. I wish this was part of our, hey, well, we're going to name three things and one of them is true. <laughs> and the one that's true has something to do with the Nintendo licensed 
Stern machine? Uh, I don't know um, anything. I've just I've I've heard the same rumors. I guess everybody else has um, about the little ball, little balls, something little, like a little red and white ball. I don't red, know, or gold, or like always on the Game Boy. Yeah, um, I didn't I didn't ask anybody. Collect them uh, all. I didn't ask anybody anything. Did you poke them? You know what I mean? Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you no, poke? I was I was about to go into something uh, else. Um, what I what I thought was weird. Um, I asked a friend of mine who works at Jersey Jack, like, "What's up with Harry Potter?" Mm. And they said, I, I, "As far as I know, they said we. I don't think we have that license." And I was How like, much what? of a smirk did he have when he said it? Zero. Damn it. Well, and this person um, I know worked on uh, Godfather, and um, I'm trying not to give too much away. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But <laughs> and his name rhymed with Mac Jack. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, but um, and I was like, really? I thought you know didn't so Joe uh, fill me in. I I don't really keep t- up too much with the, the news, but so Joe Camacow said, like publicly said. Jersey Jack has the license, correct? Yes, that's what he said. Okay. And then, you know, and I asked my friend, because, you know, if it's out there, um, and this person was genuine, like, I really haven't heard anything at the company, but it could be something they're working on that I don't know anything about. Mm. It, could be, it could be something so early that they just are still trying to figure out what figure assets out. to secure or anything. But I just thought it was interesting. They were like, they were they were like uh, yeah I haven't I haven't heard anything uh, you know about it from a pinball enthusiast's opinion from afar I would say y'all should get a good license soon because nothing against Elton John <laughs> is this is this the, the segue into oh, Elton yeah, John baby. <laughs> segue man you know like it sucks because. It, you know, they, they've remade Star Trek and Spider-Man into a very colorful game that looks like it shoots well. And Elton John has great music and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. for twelve thousand dollars for Elton John, the pinball machine. I don't know who their target audience is. I, I, I don't I don't get it, I, man. I, I feel you on that. Uh, I, like, if it was okay, six so grand, I play, can I tell you what, how please, it is? Pl- pl- it yeah. is. OK, it is the most fabulous pinball machine I've ever seen in my life. It has like glitter everywhere. I think yeah. there's like glitter in the clear coat. I mean, it is. And this is the, the CE we, we played the CE. Okay. It has the topper has two uh, screens in it, two monitors. Wow. It's, sh- it's showing like concert footage. I didn't I mean, even notice that. Holy crap. This thing is is really really it looks beautiful um all the artwork i mean it has a little animatronic elton john elton jamming out it's got a crocodile um and it's and it's fun it's super super fun um everybody i talked to even industry people were were loving uh playing this thing it feels like a stern at this point it does not feel like a stern oh no it feels like a jersey jack um no but the the flippers feel great i mean it's like you know, you have Stern, and then since Godfather, like Jersey Jack figured something out, and yeah. so you have you have that Stern flipper feel at the top. Then then you have Jersey Jack now, and then you know all the rest of the guys are 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 under that. Where would Labyrinth be? Uh, right there with with Spooky and American. Okay, so it's still below Jersey um, Jack. Yeah, I didn't play it enough. Um, American, you know, but we'll get into Galactic Tank Force. We have a Galactic Tank Force, and we'll get into that later. Oh, that's but a bummer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it, man. <laughs> oh shit! I've, I've got some stories about that thing, but uh, uh um, okay. So, yeah, uh, El- Elton John's cool, but I I agree. I can't wait to see how many they sell because um, it is a hard sell. Uh, Rachel is not an Elton John fan. I'm an Elton John fan. Um. But neither one of us want to roll the dice on this one uh, for the simple fact that, man, they are they are expensive. The, the Jersey Jacks are really expensive. Mm-hmm. And it's hard for us to make our money back on a Jersey Jack. They just don't earn like Stearns do. So, right. Uh, it's, it's hard for you to earn your money back as one of the top arca- pinball arcades on the planet, literally. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Knowing the... 
the secondary market as I do and a lot of us who are listening do, it is near impossible to not lose money on buying, uh, well, especially Godfather or the last few JJPs, especially this. Mm -hmm. So consumers would lose money instantly. You guys would most likely, you know, it's, it's a roll of the dice, but probably mm -hmm. lose money. That's what I mean. I don't know who their audi audience is for this $12,000 machine with this license. Like if this came out, it could be the identical layout. Steve Ritchie, what I, I love Steve Ritchie games. Mm -hmm. And if this, if this license was like, Sonic the Hedgehog, it would sell amazing. If it was Matrix, <laughs> right. if yeah. it was Pokemon, if it was, uh -huh. if it was even in the top fifty percent of like, hey, that's a theme I'd play. If it was yeah, Blade Runner, a a Matrix, fuck man, it would, no question. Um, but I don't know who's gonna buy this, and I feel bad yeah. because I I know people at JJP, I, I like them. I, their their product is top quality. It's mm -hmm. no ill will. It's not like against the artists who making it, but. You know, I, I don't see a world where this sells well at all. Yeah. Um, and cut, cut the price in half. <clears throat> yeah, sure. I don't know if they can, man. This thing is loaded, dude. But yeah, I, I feel you on that. When I, I played it and I was like, man, this is beautiful. And, and I did play the CE. So that's like what? The $15,000 version? My God. Yeah. And man, it looks like a $15,000 pinball machine. Ooh. Uh. Yeah, but the same thing. I was like, man, this is for old dudes to have in their game room. Old, old rich dudes, right? I don't. Um, and it's and a, of course, there's they're going to be on the street somewhere. But but to this day, in Arizona, and Arizona is getting a lot of arcades. As far as I know, to this day, we're we're the only folks that have a Godfather on on the streets in Arizona. From everything uh, I know and hear, that game. Did not and is not selling well. Yes, and you can buy them on the secondary market for like what seven or eight thousand or well, maybe not that low, but significantly less. Right. Uh, can... Yeah, and that's <clears throat> and that's a good game. I, I like Godfather. That's a great. We've had good luck with it. No, no uh, show stopping issues. Um, it's uh, it's operating. Um, it's weird to think of their last three titles. The best theme was Toy Story 4. <laughs> and when it kind of got announced, everyone's like, oh my God, this is the worst theme. But mm -hmm. I think, you know, Godfather, again, it's nothing against the game, as you said, but it's mm -hmm. just, this isn't, I mean, I, I don't think a $12,000 game, a license can't hold that price tag unless you give them the good stuff. Star Wars, Matrix, Lord of the yeah. Rings, mm -hmm. uh, Mario, John Wick. John Wick. I don't even know if John Wick could carry that. Yeah. I don't think. Maybe Fast. Nah. I mean, I hate Fast and Furious. I've never seen any of them, but I don't know. $12,000 for an Elton John pinball. Mm, damn it. It just sucks. I wish the price was lower. Yeah. I hope you get a chance to flip it because it, it, it it's fun. I don't know where I would. I'd have to a drive a couple hours. And again, I'm not going to drive a couple hours for that game. Replace the theme, sure. If you come out here, uh, we'll play it. Our our friends at Game Room Goodies will set it up in their showroom. We'll play it. Just come fly down here and hang out with us. Okay. It's just four hours. Eight-hour round trip, not a big deal. <coughs> um, I'll use the sponsorship money, pay for the plane. There you go. Um, oh, well, we would have a conflict flipping out mm -hmm. and Game Room Goodies. We could have them battle. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll fly yeah. down there with Zach. They'll fight to the death. Um, you know, these guys, these guys are always armed. You know, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a very Arizona feel. You know, every, <laughs> I'm not kidding, man. Every time they drop off a game, they're strapped, man. Like open carry. They're, wow. Yeah. yeah, we never have to worry about anything when we're with, we're with them. We don't really. Well, they do. I guess in Wisconsin, but it's just like shotguns. Mm -hmm. Like you know, because we're just hunt, or it's a crossbow. Just no, something these, weird. these guys are Colt Colt forty fives, man. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right, so Godfather, Godfather, Jersey Jacks Elton played John. Elton. We 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 played the Labyrinth, mm -hmm. and all these were great. Yeah, you know, um, all these were great. Uh, so there was another new game. Uh, what was that called? Ninja Eclipse yeah. by Tur by Turner Pinball. Do you know anything about this? I all I've heard is subpar. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is uh, let let's be positive about this. We're trying. It's it's so cool that there are so many 
uh, these like I guess you call them startups uh, because hopefully they they're able the the turn of pinball hopefully they're able to add something to to pinball this they they're, they're doing things very very differently so mm. when when you first when you, when you see this machine you you you're like what kind what kind of toy is this yeah it it looks like something that would be on the floor at like Costco great and and what gives it that feel is and and the machine is cool the artwork is freaking awesome the the machine looks cool like the play field all the toys and the the animation is like super super cool um i like ninjas yeah if you like ninjas you'll 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 love playing this thing um so will i yeah, but just for a bit i mean just yeah. as a as a fan uh okay. you know one game but yeah. uh so the the cabinet is shallow. Yeah, so I've seen it, that. It, it has um, what, what were those uh, ziffles or zephyrs or do you do you remember those machines? They were like no. these two, I think there was like a Pirates of the Caribbean. They, they were like those these, like little things that you could fit but, in your but, lap. But, but they were more. They had legs and everything. Oh um, no, I'm unfamiliar. I can't even remember what they were called. But uh, people used to ask them about us all the time when I worked at Marco if we could like get them for them or, or they wanted like parts and I was like no hell no I don't no. know anything about it anyway. The cabinet's shallow, so it you can't even fit a coin door on the front. So when we walk up, and and the CEO of the company talked to us, super nice guy, um, and very open. You know, very much like the the barrels of fun folks. They were, you know, what do you think? Can we get some input? Uh, you know, the first thing as operators were like, hey, uh, no coin door. That's a, mm. that's a deal breaker. Yeah. So they have their own payment system, and and you know, like I was saying. Hopefully, these guys come up with some type of technology that they can uh, lend to the, the the pinball industry and and make everything better. Uh, they have their own payment system, which I I think they're they may be grooming to to where you could use. Might be jumping uh, the gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, one other thing that was cool. I mean, they're just doing very different stuff. The the glass, like the whole. The glass and the and the the rails, which which hold the glass, the whole top just comes off. You you pop it like uh, you reach underneath the game, like like you're opening the hood of your car, mm -hmm. and you 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 pop this button, the and the whole thing pops off with with like lights with a uh, you know stadium style lighting. And it sure. all pops off. Okay, so you can you can work on the machine. And then you and then you throw it back on there, and it, and I guess a magnet makes a connection, and and then it lights the thing back up again. So very cool stuff. Um, it plays kind of weird, uh, you know, flipper feel toward the lower end of you know American and spooky. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but the deal breaker is the the price. I mean, this thing is like ten grand. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's like nine something. And when he was gonna. When he he didn't you know when he told us the price, did you throw? Up? I was I was like, bro. I mean, you could almost you could <laughs> almost get an Elton John, yeah, you know, for a well, couple you can more in the thousand. secondary market. Within a week, you'll be yeah, able to get one. Ex exactly right, yeah. right. So that that's a hmm. uh, Ninja Eclipse by Turner Pinball. Um, I think of Turner Classic Movies. I think of like yeah. the, a rerun channel when I for sure Turner, for sure. You know? Which, I'll, then, which is I, I, guess, cool. I guess the only other new game was the. Uh, the the punny factory and then the new new what was it what was their new game i don't know it's i don't even know right can we move past it does Element, it matter ele elements elements oh the mirrors yeah in the middle does it matter the, uh no uh, punny factory was kind of we flipped punny factory we didn't flip elements because they, they always had a it always had a problem they actually had to have the glass off of it so you could grab the ball and move it cool um yeah, so the whole time the glass was off, so you could actually play the game. So, anyway, we don't we don't need to get into. Uh, so, <laughs> so moral uh, of the story: Labyrinth did it right. Well, and of course, yeah. So did Stern and JJP by bringing functional games that are ready to go and for sale soon. And 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 Labyrinth sold out, at least direct. Direct, yeah, yeah. awesome. Way to go, guys! Congratulations. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. I, I'm I have itchy trigger fingers for that game. I'm like I'm just a text away of. I love that they're doing just one model too. I, mm. Yes, so you want the game? This Thank is it. You don't have to think about it. That's right. it. Mm -hmm. Man, way to go! Who knows? Could be a year from now and be like that game is terrible. Um, but 
Yeah. I don't know. I bet it'll be great. We so speaking see. of terrible Galactic Tank Force, um, I've played that many a times. <laughs> and I, again, it's not a slight against the creators. It's uh-huh. not like, I mean, it's, but like, I mean, come on. If someone says, hey, what do you think of getting hit in the face? I don't like it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if someone says, what do you think of Galactic Tank Force? I don't like it. So you guys have a Galactic Tank Force. Um, uh, and what are the, what's going on? So, man, that is a hard game to keep working, to, to keep running. That's what, that's what we're finding out. Um, Spooky style? Uh, yeah, we, we kind of feel like we've been burned, kind of like with, uh, with Spooky in the past. Uh, what, what, I, don't, I don't know what happened at that company. So we, we had Hot Wheels. Yeah. Loved the, Hot the Wheels. NFL game. Yeah. <laughs> Right, he's loaned it to a hotel for like six months or something. Yeah, for an NFL yeah. player, made made our money back on it, um, and then we ended up trading it for no fear with a with a little money attached to that, which was a good trade. Um, but that man, Hot Wheels was a solid game, and the American Pinball customer service. We we did have a problem with it when it first dropped, and the uh, there's a magnet on the on the orbit that holds the ball. And the software would give it a little too much juice and just short out that coil. It would burn up that coil. Um, and, and the customer service was amazing. We reached out to them. They, I, I wish I remember the guy's name because he was just a, a, a dream to work with. And he sent us a coil and said, so sorry, we're getting this fixed in the software. Um, and then he became our contact and it was just great. Anytime we needed anything, boom. Uh, complete opposite with Galactic Tank Force. Um, I mean, we we have an issue where uh, there's two different coils on on the flipper mechs. And so one of them has a short bobbin. The bobbin is the spool, the plastic spool that all the wires wrapped around. Yeah. And we're like, we have this short bobbin, so it's just like rattling in there. And and I would have to put like a stack of like spring washers to even secure it to where it's not rattling. And, you know, the response was, uh, we don't, you know, it's nothing we did. We we order those flipper mechs fully assembled, and I was like, and then he was like, he's like, I don't know even know what a bobbin is. Could you, you know, Ugh. tell me more about it? I'm like, I mean, these guys are building these; things. they need to know what a bobbin is. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, and and there are other issues. I mean, an an American just like Spooky has these weird flipper issues where. In the middle of the game, the flippers will die. I was I was playing. That's happened to multiple people. Um, and I was I was playing one time, and like the right flipper got full strength, and then half strength started machine gunning, and then full strength again. Um, which I've I've seen with with uh, you know a, a, a spooky and um, American before. Um, that's fine, but. I mean, there's just like uh, show stopping issues where like you'll lock a ball and then it goes to the next person's game. Mm. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, a ball will end up in a, in a, the, the, the saucer in the, on the, on the top right that pops it back up to the, the right flipper. And it was just the, the game will lose track. Um, and, and that's, there's there's plenty of talk about that. That's a game. That's a problem across all of the Galactic Tank Force games. You, you, um, people, you, you, I've seen people on a pin side talking about it. Um, and then Rachel discovered a bug where the uh, the the balls it, it loses track of balls, um, and it's like a trough issue. But it, but it, she was able to duplicate it over and over again. It's something that can be fixed in software. And she's trying to reach out to customer service, and they're like, they're just not. You know, they need to be like these other uh, uh, games, um, I mean, other manufacturers that really want to hear from the operators and, and get their opinion. They, 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 seem, they seem like they really don't care. We even, so when we went to Expo, we're like, oh, we'll actually get to talk to these guys. And we talked to David Fix, and we're like, do, do you realize that the balls are uh, ending up in the coin box? <laughs> and he's like, looks at us like... Oh no, that that doesn't happen with our games. I'm like, it most certainly does. There's a huge gap in your apron 
and the balls are eject or, or, or draining and then flying up and going through a hole in the play field and ending up in the, the coin box. It, it's happened multiple times. We fixed ours with uh, gaff tape and popsicle sticks, just uh-huh. kind of like to, to build a barrier. Mm. And I mean, he's basically just like, uh, you know, maybe send me uh, the, the audits or whatever, they, whatever they're called. Yeah. Like put it on a thumb drive. I mean, it's not going to tell you if the a ball ends up in the damn coin box. But he seemed very like uninterested in the problems uh, with the game. And we were just like, you know what? Fuck this. Yeah. Uh, well, that's a very dismissive resolution to your concern of like, oh, I just send me the audience. Uh, audits. I don't want to deal with it now. But yeah, I, that type of stuff in this like market where like sales are low, secondary market things are low, not like all time low, like, oh, my God, fire sale, everything's fucked. But. I don't see companies like this lasting long that do that. No ill will, but right. you know, I mean, how can you? You mm-hmm. got to sell stuff, and if you can't have repeat customers, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that company. It, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't sound good. And they don't have announcements for another game. There's like teases for Masters of the Universe, and what was the other one that Nap just said there? Um, confirmed for oh, I'll just google it when i got the texas Chapter chainsaw game. massacre ah hmm uh, uh, <laughs> no, that's another wrong, company wrong right? company uh yeah um well speaking of you know labyrinth they're already uh um one is on location um and good news to you nap hey again jason what's up at nap mm-hmm. or kk and app uh first production pulp fiction machine rolls off the line so you guys should be uh yeah that's kind of I, I read that the the what is it called the gold master the one that they base the all the other ones off of ah. yeah man did you yeah, oh, I'm, but you I'm, find you finally I'm, got to play pulp fiction oh it, yes you bought we, it a while ago right this is our first time playing pulp fiction and that what a a great game we cannot wait to get our hands on this this thing's going to earn a lot of money and it's going to make a great uh competitive game because uh you know you don't have these like Godzilla style you know 30 minute uh ball times um yeah this is we're very excited about this good job Butch Peel and all the boys at uh Play Mechanics uh yeah so mm. and and I talked to Zach when Zach was there Zach uh, Ometi of yeah, and uh, that's that's who we get in our uh, Pulp Fiction from, ah. and uh, yeah, he said uh, should be soon. You should have one of the first ones off the line because they want to really get these in operators' hands so the public can can see these things. So you're getting a flip uh, a uh, pinball machine Pulp Fiction courtesy of flipping out pinball. Is that correct? that's right? Okay, bye bye bye. When I buy my pinball, should I buy from flipping out? For those at home, could not see that Kale was mimicking, uh, air, not air guitar, but air drums. <laughs> yeah. And in between the snare drum hits, uh, giving a little finger flail to show that he was spinning them sticks. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll get video soon. Yeah. I, I've thought of making a video for that song. Um, we should. Why not? Yeah. Um, eh. uh, but yeah, uh, Pulp Fiction. But going back to Stern for a second, mm-hmm. um, the production schedule for the end of the year uh, courtesy of everyone's kind of getting some of these from the same sources, but mm-hmm. you know, Zach or, or Napper Cade, um, Deadpool premiums currently going on, uh, then stranger things, um, Elvira, the blood red kiss edition, assuming then some stranger things, premium Godzilla premium in December, Godzilla premium guardians of the galaxy pro <clears throat> bond pro and premium. But then, um, you know, everything's always subject to change. Um, there's always this kind of still rumor beyond the, you know, the teeth gate um, that we cracked thanks to Reddit mm-hmm. guy who uh, must have, I don't know, killed himself or something. He's gone. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, he's gone. But um, then there was like, oh, is there another gap in November of Stranger Things? Well, I wonder. And then, yes, of course. Um, but then there's still these kind of somewhat nagging rumors of um, a vault at the end of the year. And there's the rumors that usually come up are 
Mm, in no particular order? <laughs> How do I say this with a straight face? Uh, let's just throw some titles out there. I don't know. Lord of the mm-hmm. Rings, Tron, Ghostbusters, Metallica. Um, you know, then there's the 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 rumored Jaws from Keith Elwin early next yeah. year. I don't know. Um <clears throat> the vault thing is interesting. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of talk about Metallica on Pinside about being vaulted, quote. Right. Um, out of everything I hear, that one seems to have the most legs because it's coming from a lot of different angles. Um, but is it a vault? Is it a remake? Is it just it with an LCD? I don't know. If, if they do that, um, I, I would think we'd see that next year. Hmm. Could be too um, soon. Yeah, if if they surprise us with something, I have a feeling they would surprise us with an with an Elwin game. Ooh, because they they, they want to get some uh, some holiday sales. They got, I mean, <laughs> a few one two three four punches from Jurassic Park to Venom to Stranger Things mm-hmm. to Elvira, Kiss Edition. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, do they need more? Sa- I, I guess if you announce an Elwin game, that stuff just sells. Man, they have a big factory right now running and not even at full capacity. They, Yeah, they need to move some machines, man. The last thing I wanted to talk about with you here is, is there any way that you can convince me that Venom is a good game? Yeah. I mean, I can just tell you it is a good game mm. and you have to trust me. Um, I've played so- it. So you played it. Did, did you played the pro and the premium, right? No, just the pro. Okay. Well, and the pro's great. I, we finally got a chance to play the premium. Uh, we really like the pro. Um, you know, as, as first of all, just as a player, man, it's fun. The, the, the shots are fun, um, and we 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 spent a lot of time with it. We. I don't think we've seen this much enthusiasm with our players about Venom, and it all has to do with the leveling. Oh, sure, man. They 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 will stop us and go, uh, and and that's what you know. Th- this isn't from the, the the player side. This is more from the operator side. This is what we like to hear, like the enthusiasm about dropping more money in these machines, and and trying to beat it. They're all trying to beat beat the game collect uh the the three different characters hulk uh captain america and, and wolverine sure um yeah this is this is cool and but I, I think you're you're just talking about the game aspect the layout playing it what what what, what do you think what was your feel i like the theme mm-hmm. and i was excited to play it um ah, my first impressions weren't great so I'm hmm. just like it's it's one like I've I've, I've played. Where'd you play it at MGC? No, locally. Um, oh, okay. and it was set up fine. Mm-hmm. It's just um, my first impressions as like I mean it's just what it is. You know, first impressions are important for anything, mm-hmm. any game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I when it was over I, the first time I played, I was like, that's enough. I didn't you know whatever. Nothing was really that intuitive, and that's coming from someone who pays attention to pinball clearly you know and, and you were you logged in and yeah that was the first thing i did up. yeah okay yeah and I, I mean i saw those numbers going up i was like oh it's cool it's cool mm-hmm. but you know the the shots weren't very i mean yeah i hit the blinky shots and no i didn't read anything ahead of time aside from what i read on the podcast for, for an extensive period right. none of it got retained but it wasn't that intuitive the shots none of them felt that great and I didn't like uh, above the um, the slings to the left and right, where sometimes there's like drop targets or stand up targets where the ball's kind of a lot of motion moving around. There's just, you know, um, some rubbers that just keep it bouncing everywhere, which like eh, it's just a little out of control and not not that great, but not as fast as I thought it would feel like because they're not the shots aren't close to the flipper. So it's not like a black knight where like, oh, man, it's just flying back at you. Mm-hmm. So I. Waited a couple of days, went back and played it a couple more times. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll pay more attention to what's going on and play it. And I don't know. I just it was like, for me, it was it wasn't like um, some other games that come across like, oh, I can't wait to play that again. I can't wait to dig into the rules. I can't. The yeah. shots are great. It, it it was fine. And maybe over time, 
it, it's in the position now where my opinion over time is going to go one of two ways. We're like, okay, no, I was missing something and this thing is awesome. Or like, yeah, right. this is just kind of a pass for me. No, I, I feel that. I have a friend who has the same opinion. He uh, was like, ah, I just don't feel it. I feel like the shots are kind of dangerous and the, the ramps are too steep. And you're, you're finding that you want to kind of like Black Knight, you want to backhand everything mm. and be overly That's cautious. Exactly, um, yeah. The left ramp, all I wanted to do mm. was backhand the left ramp. And it's such a clunky, you can't really do it. Not enough power. <laughs> right. Like, Damn it. But no, nope, I, I feel you on that. I, I think you just need a, a, a little more time. And I haven't played a premium. I, I think the horseshoe ramp, the horseshoe shot on the pro mm-hmm. is cool. But it's not as fast as like Star Wars where it flies back at you. It's- yeah. So I, I played the premium a lot because this was the first time I had a guy a chance to play a premium and it's good. I don't know if I like one better than the other. I, mm. I think, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with both of them. How is, well, I guess the update hasn't come out yet. I was going to say, how's mm-hmm. Bond doing? Because Vinicor was talking about uh, on your, on the mm-hmm. Batcast episode five. Yeah, yeah it was. go check yeah, it out. Very, very cool updates for that. Um, he's getting me more hyped for Bond. I, I, I've always loved the way it shots. It mm-hmm. shot, but some of those perks he's talking about, I love persistent per- parses. I love persistent perks in pinball. Yes, more. I think than anything, like the the awards in Jurassic Park for completing pad completing paddocks, the Iron Maiden. Um, it's the tomb shot. What is the thing you collect in the right? I forget what they're called. Uh, yeah, persistent awards and mm-hmm. the the shot he mentioned where you get permanent add a ball, basically. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very very cool stuff coming for that. Um, and after we and like I, I talked about it on the podcast after after his talk, we went and played it because, um, man, we're we're doing so much. You know, once an update comes out, we're, we're not we should be, but we're not like reading the read me and then going in and playing this game. See what see what's so once he told us about all these updates, I was like, "Oh man, we got to go play it." And we we put the martini shots, cool. The uh, the smart missiles. I was like, "They're smart missiles." I had no idea. Uh, yeah. So um, this game is in is getting really, really, really good. You know, it it was uh, you know it, it needed a lot of code help once it once it when it was initially released. Um, and I think you even owned one for a little bit, right? No, uh, <laughs> man, that's, no, who, who knows? No, I, th- no, I, I thought you bought one. Oh, you were it. talking about buying one because you were asking me, should I get the pro or the premium? Right. Now, you definitely should get a premium c- mm. because, uh, you know, Mike was talking about these these certain aspects will only be available in the premium. <sighs> the shots on the right side of that game. Ooh, I like the way that game plays. It's so cool. I really like the way that game plays. It, it it really is a great game. Okay, that's it today. Uh, I got to keep this short. I got to go back to work. Um, you okay. got to go back to work, which is like the best life, um, yeah. and and do the tournament. Uh, tell Rachel I said hi. Everyone, go listen to the Electric Batcast episode six is next. What are you guys doing? Six will be next. I, I don't know. We'll probably do that uh, later this week. Maybe talk about Expo a little bit. And uh, but uh, for right now, we have to get ready for our big Tuesday pinball tournament. This is the season finale. Ah. And then we are uh, uh, doing the the finale, top twenty four battle it out on Wednesday, and uh, we have, we have a really uh, cool thing coming up. We have a big three day tournament, November seventeenth, eighteenth, and nineteenth at the Electric Bat Arcade. We're gonna uh, sell tickets to this thing. We we can we figure we can fit about one hundred and thirty people in there, so you can get there are that many tickets available. Tickets are going fast. How do they hey, get tickets? Head to our uh, website and go to the podcast uh, tab, and you can see there's uh, there's all the different ways you can listen to our podcast and buy tickets. You, there's the event event bright link right there for the big five year anniversary bash at Electric Bat Arcade, November seventeenth, eighteenth, and nineteenth. Uh, the, the if we sell out, the winner is going to take a thousand bucks home. Oh, yep. Okay. Well, let's leave them wanting more. Thanks for joining again. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Good to see you. Good to hear from you, Jason. Uh, and, you know, as uh, per usual, it has been an absolute slice. <laughs> it sure has. See you, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.